Welcome to Zolder for the season opener of the Assetto Corsa Competizione Sprint Championships. Tensions are high as our eclectic grid prepares to battle. I, uh, I, I, and we're off. <laughs> The roar of engines fills the air as Bogdan leads the charge. Our mysterious Transylvanian Count seems determined to turn this race into his own nocturnal adventure. But keep your eyes on Daniel Bourne, starting from P9 in that sleek Ferrari. Our psychological mastermind will be, pl will be plotting his way through the field, no doubt employing some clever mental tactics. Will Bogdan's garlic-clad pit crew give him the edge today? Or will Bourne's innovative approach see him slicing through the pack like a hot knife through butter? The midfield is a colorful tapestry of characters, from mime-turned racer Despierre to the flamenco-inspired Soler. Oh! Chaos erupts! A multi-car pileup sends carbon fiber flying! Born, our cunning psychologist, weaves through the carnage like a master chess player. His visualization techniques paying dividends as he exploits others' misfortune. Ah! A cerebral climb through the chaos. Ah! Born's Ferrari thunders into P5, the psychological mastermind executing his climb with surgical precision. Ah! Ahead lies Petchman's BMW, a new challenge for our analytical racer. The gap between them shrinks, Bourne's eyes narrowing with focus behind his visor. Pieter Sajestris! Our, jo our jolly brewmaster grips his steering wheel tightly, perhaps imagining it as a precious keg he's unwilling to relinquish. The Ferrari looms large in his mirrors, a crimson threat to his position. Born's mind races, likely formulating multiple strategies to overcome his Bavarian rival. Years of sports psychology come into play as he studies Pitchman's racing line. And turns us to see... Born strikes. The Ferrari pounces on Pitchman's BMW. The psychology expert outfoxing the brewmaster in a brilliant move. Our analytical racer exploits a momentary lapse, perhaps as Pitchman daydreamed of victory steins. Born's relentless focus pays dividends, showcasing why mental strength is as crucial as horsepower. Another position claimed in his remarkable charge through the field. Us as Born's Ferrari streaks ahead, Pitchman's BMW refuses to yield, clinging to the Italian stallion's tail like a persistent hangover. <laughs> the gap. <laughs> A mere 0 0.3 seconds. You couldn't slide a beer mat between them. <laughs> Born, ever the psychologist, is undoubtedly deploying every mental trick in his arsenal. We've just received word from his team radio that he's switched to his patented subliminal speed technique. Apparently, he's humming a carefully crafted tune designed to optimize his brainwaves for maximum focus and reaction time. It's unconventional, but who are we to argue with results? Meanwhile, Pitchman seems to be fighting back with his own unique approach. Our pit lane reporters inform us that his team has installed a miniature brewery in the cockpit. That's right, folks. The Bavarian racer is attempting to harness the power of active fermentation. The theory? The bubbling yeast creates micro vibrations, reducing overall drag. It's a bold strategy, and the stewards are frantically leafing through the rulebook to determine its legality. The battle is taking its toll on both drivers. Bourne's intense concentration has apparently caused his helmet to start smoking. Literally. Small wisps can be seen escaping from his visor. The sheer force of his mental exertion manifesting in the physical world. His race engineer is torn between concern for safety and awe at this display of cerebral combustion. Pietschmann, not to be outdone, has his own issues. The in-car brewery experiment is working almost too well. The intoxicating aroma of hops and barley is wafting through his cockpit, threatening to distract him from the taxes. So the task was shed. We've just spotted his pit crew frantically preparing what appears to be a giant pretzel on a stick. What a desperate attempt to absorb some of the alcoholic fumes at the next pit stop as they approach the chicane. 
Bourne swerves unexpectedly. Has he lost control? No! In a move that defies explanation, he started tracing the racing line of his visualizations. A line that exists only in his mind, but somehow translates to blistering pace on the track. Pitchman, caught off guard by this improbable trajectory, finds himself momentarily befuddled. The BMW driver quickly recovers, however, channeling the spirit of Oktoberfest as he charges after the Ferrari. He's activated his secret weapon, Lederhosen-lined racing boots that he claims give him enhanced pedal feel. The sound of slapped leather echoes through the cockpit as Peachman matches Bourne move for mind-bending move. As they blast down the straight, Bourne's Ferrari leaves a trail of glowing equations in its wake, the manifestation of his raw, calculating power made visible. Not to be outdone, Peachman's BMW belches a cloud of fragrant hops, momentarily obscuring both cars from view. When the hoppy haze clears, we're left with the same tantalizing 0.3 second gap. Bourne's psychological warfare clashes with Peachman's brew-powered determination in a battle that's redefining the limits of motorsport. The crowd is on their feet, the commentators are reaching for the rule book, and the FIA stewards are developing a collective migraine. One thing's for certain, this is a duel that will be talked about in paddocks and pubs for years to come. Bourne's razor sharp focus momentarily shifts as he engages with his pit wall. The Ferrari's radio crackles to life, transmitting a series of cryptic phrases and numbers. This is, this is, this is, this is, is this some advanced psychological code? Our resident lip reader suggests Bourne's requesting a mental pit stop. Perhaps a rapid fire visualization exercise to recalibrate his racing psyche. Meanwhile, Sir Wes, then he saw it, pardon me, yeah, yeah. His race engineer responds with what appears to be an impromptu mindfulness session, complete with breathing exercises. This unorthodox mid-race therapy seems to energize Bourne, his lap times dropping as he applies these fresh mental strategies to his relentless pursuit of the podium. Bourne's mind games fascinate me. His psychological approach adds spice to this race, keeping us guessing. What a thrilling contest! Look at this, folks. Curtis, our NASA engineer, is hounding De La Bouralière's Ford. The silent Frenchman's miming skills are being put to the test as he frantically gestures to keep Curtis at bay. It's rocket science versus pantomime in this battle for P2. Curtis's Ferrari, possibly equipped with some secret lunar technology, is breathing down the Ford's neck. De La Bouralière's expressive face tells the story. He's feeling the heat of Curtis's otherworldly pace. Curtis launches his Ferrari like a satin vive rocket. De La Bouralière's silent defense crumbles as the American blasts past. P2 secured in a maneuver that would make NASA proud. Absolutely stellar driving. Unbelievable. Curtis's overtake defies the laws of physics. My heart's racing faster than these cars. What a show. I'm losing my mind here, folks. Incredible racing. Great Scott. De La Bouralier's silent scream echoes across Zolder as his Ford pirouettes off track. And there's Bourne, seizing the moment like a ravenous psychology textbook, devouring exam-stressed students. He's into P3. My word. The Mind Master has done it again. I'm hyperventilating here. Folks, Bourne's ascent is more thrilling than a roller coaster made of pure adrenaline. This race is rewriting the laws of excitement. I might just spontaneously combust from the sheer spectacle. Ladies and gentlemen, we're in the final throes of this incredible opener! Born, our mental maestro, has clawed his way to P3 from P9, and now victory's sweet aroma is tantalizing his nostrils. But hold on, what's this? As he approaches the back markers, Born seems to have thrown gentlemen's... Eti... He's bearing down on Depierre like a freight train with a vendetta. Blue flags are waving frantically, but Bourne's not content to wait. He's bulldozing through, showing all the patience of a caffeinated cheetah. 
Despierre, our ex-mime, is gesticulating wildly, probably wishing he could erect an invisible wall. But Bourne's having none of it. He's nudging, he's squeezing, he's practically shoving Despierre off the track. It's effective, but hardly sporting. Come on, Bourne, you're better than this. You fought tooth and nail for this podium. Don't sully it now with these Bush League tactics. Still, I can't help but marvel at his determination. He can almost taste that champagne, and he's not letting anyone, backmarker or not, stand in his way. What a debut, what a drive, what a spectacle. Oh. No! Disaster strikes! Bourne's Ferrari breaks loose, pirouetting like a deranged ballerina. The psychological mastermind succumbs to pressure. His podium dreams shatter as he spins wildly from hero to zero in a heartbeat. This race is ruthless, absolutely ruthless. That does so. Unbelievable. Bourne spin sends him plummeting to pay five. The mind games maestro's carefully crafted race strategy lies in tatters. And here comes Curtis, the NASA engineer, ready to blast Bourne into a lower orbit. It's a cosmic collision of racing titans. Bourne's fairy tale has turned into a nightmare. Great Scott, Curtis is reeling in ball like a lunar module, docking with the ISS. The gap's evaporating quicker than astronaut ice cream. Bourne's mind palace is crumbling, his psychological defense is in tatters. Meanwhile, Curtis has engaged his flux capacitor, channeling the spirit of Neil Armstrong himself. It's cerebral warfare versus space age technology. Bourne's sweating neurons while Curtis's NASA grade cooling system keeps him frosty. This finale is more nail-biting than a zero-gravity manicure. Catastrophe for Bourne. Our mind-bending maestro's Ferrari is hemorrhaging positions faster than a leaky coolant system. Curtis rockets past, no doubt using some classified NASA propulsion system. And there goes Lingard, treating this track like his personal pitch. Bourne's not giving up, though. He's glued to their rear wings, probably attempting some last-ditch Jedi mind tricks. Is that smoke coming from his ears? The sheer mental exertion is visible, folks. He's fighting like a man possessed, his Ferrari dancing on the ragged edge. Bourne's brain is working overtime, calculating racing lines with the desperation of a supercomputer on Red Bull. It's a Psych 101 nightmare out there. Can our cerebral hero claw back the checkered flag looms? Oh, what a roller coaster of a season opener. Bourne's meteoric rise and devastating fall epitomizes the cruel nature of motorsport. From tactical genius to spinning disaster, he's given us a masterclass in both brilliance and heartbreak. Curtis and Lingard have capitalized ruthlessly, showcasing the cutthroat spirit of racing. As they thunder towards the finish, one thing's certain, this championship will be a psychological warfare on wheels. Buckle up, folks. We're in for a wild ride.